Hello and welcome to the Build With Air Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit and to hang out with all y'all. I'm going to adjust this up just a hair. Get in there. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to throw the Bear Cave, the Lego, the Scythe emote in the chat. If you're currently a subscriber, you can reply with those emotes. You can also just say hi, or you can throw another emote in there. You've got options. That's okay. I want to thank everybody who's here tonight. We are going to wait for a few more folks before we get building. Hopefully, we're going to get just a few more bodies in the chat. That's okay. Um... If this is going to be a light night, it's going to be a light night. But Thursdays are usually real good, and I would love to have people here. Uh, I played Hearthstone last night. It was fun. I won some. I lost some. I only got a little salty at one deck, uh, but that was okay. Ristafan is here. Hey, Ristafan, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here in the stream chat. Uh, Lashbrook is here. Hello, Lashbrook. I'm going to, instead of in the, usually, during my pause for the cause, I mention YouTube. I'm doing it right now. Hey, if you're watching this video on YouTube after the fact, is that's how you consume what I, what I do is you watch the YouTube videos instead of watching live, welcome. Happy to have you here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the stream. Because um, I know there are folks out there watching, you know, that don't, they watch the VODs. Hey, VOD viewers. They watch the uh, YouTube archive. Hello and welcome. Uh, yeah, but then also, we got our friends here in the, in the chat watching live. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, we just had, uh, um, I'll, I'll get into, I'll, I'll look a little, we'll, we'll, we'll take a little peek behind the curtain. We'll part the kimono just for a moment before we get into building. A thing I just wanted to say real quick about this, uh, cause it, it comes up now and again. Um, uh, it is incredibly beautiful when people give subs. I love it so much. Gifting a sub to a subscriber so they can check it out and see what's up. I think that's rad. Uh, when someone does something very cool, like don't like buy 10 subscriptions, gift 10 subscriptions. It's unbelievably radical. Um, when those subscriptions end and the numbers drop, it's so weird. Like I was setting up the stream today. So this afternoon I'm setting up the stream, you know, because like I streamed last night. So I gotta, I gotta go in and edit the information. So it says Garp's Marine ship model kit on the top and I change it from Hearthstone to Makers and Crafting, the category. That's an important thing. I just gotta do that. It's not a big deal. It's not not hard. But I go in and I look and I see like, oh, I've got these many subscribers, this much sub points. Cause some of y'all are tier two. That's rad. Um some of y'all are just tier one and that's also rad. Uh and I'm like, okay, well that's fine. We'll just we'll whatever. That's the number. Cool. And then I go in to start the stream. So I get back into the dashboard uh, on Twitch, and the number has dropped by 10, because this time last month, someone gifted 10 subs, and that 10 subs has expired, and it's, it is like, oh, it is like, whoa, what's happening? Hey, Lord Crashton, welcome, happy to have you here on the stream, oh, as always, um, but yeah, it's jarring, when the numbers, like, go down, like, one or two, and it's like, oh, yeah, somebody didn't, didn't continue their sub, uh, somebody, uh, you know, it's just, they haven't clicked the renew because that, that happens and it's fine. It's whatever. Cause they used, uh, uh, prime instead of using their, uh, you know, cash money. Um, that's fine. But when it's like the number dropped by 10 and it's just like, Oh, Oh, and I get it. Uh, when you're gifted a sub, not a lot of people translate that transfer that into a subscription. They don't always convert it. And I get that and I understand it, and it's okay, and I don't mind it. But it is very jarring. Um, uh, so there's that. Uh, also, um, I did want to, uh, I got to look up a thing real quick before we get going here. I'm just going to look at my phone. Uh, I do want to make sure I say this person's name right, because it is important uh, to mention uh, them by name. Uh, and I want to give my uh, condolences to the friends and family of Kirby Moreau. Uh, that's M-R-O-O-O-W. Um, Kirby was a uh, an actor, a Canadian actor, um, uh, and a voiceover artist. Did a lot of cartoons that you may be familiar with. A lot of stuff were like late 90s, or sorry, early 2000s to mid 2000s Transformers. Did quite a bit there. Did a TMNT, Ninja Turtle action. Um, I know him best as the original voice of Goku in the Ocean dub. Uh, the original dub uh, for, uh, you know, those commonly called the Ocean dub uh, for uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z. 
Uh, he also played uh, Troa in Gundam Wing, which is very appropriate for here. He's the, the voice actor for Troa, uh, the English voice actor for Troa. And um, his most recent role was a reprisal. His last role that he, he is credited for uh, was playing uh, Moroku. Uh, he was the original dub voice of Moroku in Inuyasha, Moroku, I should say, um, and reprised that role for Yashahime, the dub of Yashahime. Uh, so he his voice will still be heard for a, a, a few more episodes uh, as they obviously record that in advance. Uh, so it's weird. Uh, he was 49 years old, and uh, I wanted to mention just because uh, voice actors often go through, like, like he's what a lot of people think of as Goku, but not everybody, because there, of course, is the other dub, the, the, the voice actor continues, so it is a weird thing to be known for. He's, he's known for the bad dub, and that's a strange thing to be known for. Um, but yeah, you, you can look up his credits, uh, uh, and he has been in quite a few things, so I wanted to just give him a shout out, because that was a sad bit of information. Uh, if, uh, I learned about that. One, uh, the there's folks that still still love uh, um, uh, some, uh, some shows that he was in, and a friend of mine who was huge in Transformers uh, was talking about it, because he was the voice of Hotshot. Uh, so it was very uh, sad to see that. Um, but we were going to try to be positive here. As always, we are, we are realism in reality, but, uh, we are, uh, entertainment, not escapism. So we will talk about, uh, the, uh, the, the funny, fun moments in life, the sad moments in life. We are, we are going to build a, mo a model kit, continue to build a model kit. In fact, let's go to that. I just retweeted my tweet about it, giving some context of what's going on. We're going to continue working on this kit. Uh, but, you know, we also can talk about, you know, the real stuff in the world. And that certainly did hit me a little bit. Uh, you know, it's an emotional time this time of year. Uh, I have felt, uh, I'll be honest, uh, very out of sorts. It is November. I moved uh, here to South Carolina in July. Uh, and it doesn't feel like I've been here that long, but I clearly have. And it is, uh, anytime I have to, uh, pay, uh, for my, uh, the space that I, I currently rent, uh, um, for storage, it is just like, well, I'm paying for another month of this. And it just feels weird. Um, it doesn't feel like Thanksgiving is next week or Christmas a month from now, says Lord Crashington. And I, Lord Crashington, I totally feel you on that. It does not feel like the, the those do not feel like the reality that we currently live in. Uh, that we will soon be, you know, uh, celebrating in some way Thanksgiving. Um, I have not had text message chains with my friend Brett about Thanksgiving, which we will not be having because I he one he would not be doing that. He and his partner Sebastian, his husband Sebastian, will certainly not be doing uh, a holiday celebration. But uh, also, I don't live in New York, so I couldn't go to it, even if he was. For some reason, being like, everyone has to get tested to come, like, which he wouldn't be pulling nonsense. Like, I certainly wouldn't be going, you know, like, I can't go to it if it did happen. Oh, uh, I did forget to uh, finish working on this kit. So, or not finish working on it, but finish a, a, a part of this kit here. So, we've got our doghouse, uh, our big doghouse um, cabin on here. We got our dog head. I didn't want to point out. The thing that is weird is there's like a dog, a bit of a dog torso on this. Uh, we do have the bottom of the boat that we can attach. And so uh, if you've never worked on one of these kits before, if this is your first time seeing one of these kits, uh, it has two modes of display. It has this mode of display here. So you can just have the whole ship and it's just on a little bit of blue, a blue stand for a little bit of water. And then you can, if you want, remove the bottom. And then there's another thing and we'll just do this now. Um, you can have it as if it's in motion. So, uh, and every uh, ship comes with this uh, kind of uh, thing. The only ship that so far I've built that's different is um, the Thousand Sunny from uh, Stampede, which is the last One Piece movie, uh, because the Emperor Penguin build allowed it to fly. 
Uh, it has so I had penguin wings, which you know oxymoron, but whatever. Um, not oxymoron, but whatever. Uh, that had a stand so you could mimic flight. Uh, but yeah, so you can put it like this, and that way it is in the water. I think that's very cool. I like that they give you the options. Um, of course, the uh, the best one of these that I have built, in my opinion, is the Polar Tang, which is Law's submarine, and that I think you really want to have it be like submerged uh, because it's a submarine. But we will uh, we will attach these parts here and continue our build. But I do want to point that out. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope a few more folks decide to join us tonight. If not, I understand it's okay. But uh, I would you know it's always fun to have people around. Um, I did cut out the remaining stickers left uh, from the large sticker sheet that we've been using because it was bulky and uh, unwieldy. So I have now condensed it down just to the essentials. Uh, we will be putting stickers on our flag here. Uh, we still have plenty of stickers left. So if you're thinking, oh, we're almost done with stickers, right, Pat? The answer to that uh, question will be no. Uh, we have many more stickers left to do. We are just getting started on stickers. But yeah, uh, I had a pretty good day. Yesterday was very fun playing Hearthstone on stream. I had a lot of fun uh, playing Hearthstone uh, and hanging out with folks. Uh, that was a good time. Should it go like this? Yeah, it should go like that's what it was. It just goes like this on this side. Yeah, I had, I had a, uh, a lot of fun playing Hearthstone. Um, I'm trying out a bunch of new decks. I'm having success-ish with them. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Actually, one thing that I might end up doing, because I have been... Uh, what? Which way does this go? goes like this. Okay. Yes. All right. I figured this out. Um, uh, one thing I, I have been trying to do is turn my Evolve deck, my Wild Evolve deck, and... Uh, make a standard version of it because right now I don't have a good standard deck so I think I could make an Evolve deck uh, from the uh, the uh, Evolve cards that are still in standard I think I could build that and I would actually probably have more removal tools if I did that because I would have some room for them because there are only so many uh, cards you can put in in standard that fit the type and that'd be nice to have uh, I saw that uh, Brian Kibler who is one of the most well-known uh, Hearthstone streamers out there, uh, was working on a, a similar deck. So I may go and see one of his uh, videos and see what he's doing to basically, you know, copy the deck and then make my own changes based on my own play. I mean, that's kind of what I do these days is I will take inspiration from people's decks. I'll start with their decks and then figure out like, oh, I like this style. Oh, I like that. Oh, this would actually be good. Or this isn't better, but it is what I'm going to do because I'm having fun with it. Uh, that is often how I approach that. All right, let's put a, we got to put a dog house on this. So instead of crow's nest, these are dog houses, which I like the idea. It's going with the theme. We're dealing with a theme here. Um, I think that's good. That is a fun choice. Um, somebody just renewed their subscription. If you would like to hit that notification button so we all can say thank you and throw the emotes in the chat, uh, I would love to do that. If you'd rather not uh, share that information, you're more than welcome not to. Um, but thank you to whoever just renewed their subscription. I appreciate it very, very much uh, as we uh, get ready to put some stickers on this thing. Uh, we're going to put this here and there. Um, what have I been doing with time? I'm watching a lot of Desert Bus. Desert Bus for Hope, the charity fundraiser for Child's Play. I watched, watched a lot of that today while I did other things. I watched a lot of that in the, on one monitor while I played Like a Dragon in the other. Um, I have met Nancy. If you know who Nancy is, you know how excited I am to tell you that I have met Nancy. Uh, Nancy and I are friends now, and it rules. Nancy rules, uh, and I'm very excited. Very excited to have Nancy on uh, as an associate. Um, I am still tracking down cats. I have more cats to find and hang out with and make friends with to be used in battle. Uh, so that is my next, like, big thing of is trying to get more cats together 
But I have Nancy in, yeah, in my corner. And that's important. Um, sometimes, like a dragon, is means well, but it, Nancy is pretty good. Indeed, Lashbrook. Sometimes, like a dragon, means well and is trying. And it's just like, that... <laughs> I don't know if this was a localization team. I mean, I assume it was a localization team that was just like, Hungry Hungry Hobo is very funny. And it's like, I mean, come on. this this You went out of your way to try to be respectful to the lot in life that these folks have and the things they're dealing with. Hungry Hungry Hobo doesn't line up with the things we just did. Are you trying to be weird for weird sake? That's not kind of your jam you are you are a weird and you are a weird video game we almost said anime you're a weird video game but you don't need to do this kind of weird all right we got to put rooftops on here but yeah nancy's good um uh, there's a lot of very good stuff happening in that game i'm really enjoying it uh happy that i pre-ordered it forever ago very much excited about it uh Looking forward to continuing to play. Uh, I might be done for a while with Bug Snacks. I don't know if I'm going to finish that game. I mean, honestly, here's the thing. I only want to play Like a Dragon. That That's all I want to do. All I want to do is play Like a Dragon. So uh, I don't have a lot of interest in continuing my Bug Snacks run. I think Bug Snacks is a very. I'm glad Bug Snacks got made. I think Bug Snacks is cool. I just don't love playing it, and that's a bummer. But I kind of think I might be done playing Bug Snacks. Uh, for now, we will see how I feel in the future. But right now, I'm kind of done snacking bugs. Uh, yeah, it's just not holding my attention in a way that I thought it would, which is a shame. I th obviously, part of it is the fact that Like a Dragon is out and incredible. That is certainly a big part of why I am uh, hesitant to dedicate time to Bug Snacks when it's like, well, there's a game I really like out there, so probably going to play that. But yeah, anybody playing anything this holiday season? Uh... The games are coming out, theoretically. If you're playing anything, let me know. Uh, I can't talk to you about the Game Awards because I didn't pay attention to anything being nominated for the Game Awards. Uh, because I don't care about the Game Awards. Uh, I only care about the Game Awards when people I know personally are nominated for the Game Awards. In which case, I'm excited for my friends who were nominated for the Game Awards. And that is the extent of it. I you don't really care about that award show. Maybe I should. Maybe I should care very much about it. Maybe it should be something I put a lot of thought and energy into. But it's not. Because a big part of the reason. Uh, Hades got a ton of noms, which is cool for Super John Games. Oh, I, I, that is awesome. I will say this. Um... Uh, there are, there are some glaring omissions, uh, in, um, there are some glaring, glaring omissions in the fighting game category, and instead they just put in, like, two ultimate editions, uh, which is a bummer, but they also included the One Punch Man fighting game, and that's universally disliked, like, anime fans, uh, didn't like uh, that fighting game fa fans didn't like that. Anime fighting game fans didn't like it. One Punch Man fans who don't necessarily buy fighting games didn't like it. Like, I think they were just like, well, that, that's an original game that came out. It's a fighting game. We'll just put that in. Because uh, maybe it will get written up in video uh, in anime sites. Um, but yeah, I don't know anyone who's just like, my favorite fighting game of the year that seems like needing a minimum amount of games and not having enough. Well, Lord Crashington, five games were nominated. They could have just nominated four. And there were fighting games that came out uh, in their time frame. 
uh, at least two that came out of early access this year that the fighting game community was interested in. So uh, I want to say they had some bullshit fighting games last year too. Yeah, it could just be that whoever they have, um, you know, the publications or the individuals that nominate things, it's totally possible none of not enough of them have an interest. And so they're just going with what they've got. But it uh, it is frustrating for my fighting game friends out there. Uh, you're not excited for Last of Us 2 to win best game. Note, this is not what I want to happen. I mean, Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, okay. Like, something that, I, something that I'm not playing is probably gonna win game of the year. And I'm kind of okay with that because that's fine. Like, Last year, the fact that other people like Control as much as I did was a big surprise. Uh, it always is a big surprise um, when that happens. Uh, speaking of Game of the Year, um, one thing I've been doing, which is nonsense, and I, I shouldn't, doesn't matter. Uh, it wasn't talking about, not necessarily Game of the Year, but I have been trying to work on my top 10 anime of 2020. Um, the go through the seasons and I've been not racking my brain, but like trying to narrow it down. Cause I started with a list of, I just went through cause one of the nice things about working or not, to doing this stream is I talk about anime every show or every, every stream. And then my YouTube archive lists the anime I talked about in the second hour. So I can just go and look at, you know, click through and look at every show description and go, okay, I talked about this then. Oh, I talked about this here. Oh, that show. Yes, this show. And then I just compile the list. And that list, I think, was like 24, 25, which then I narrowed down to 17. And right now it's at 17. So I haven't even ranked anything. Like, let's be real. And I won't say it because I'm going to make a YouTube video about it. I know what my favorite anime of this year was. But I don't know what my number eight anime of the year was. So I have to like go through and look at it and figure it out. And then I'm like, then I was looking and I was like, oh, I probably could take out a couple isekai off this list. And oh, I could probably take it a few other things off this list. And oh, I forgot to add this or ooh, did I take that off the list? That shouldn't be off the list. That's that was a that was a great show. OK, so this is the HQ3 sticker that I'm putting on here. And I'm going to try to get the Q in the center of this. Am I going to succeed in this? Absolutely not. There's no way I'm going to nail this first try exactly how I want it. Exactly lined up in the middle. Yep, didn't get that. Um, but I'm going to try to nail it on like the second attempt, the third attempt. Nope. I wish there was like a mark, some kind of marking to help me with this, but there isn't. I just kind of want to try to center it and line it up, and we'll see. Nope. Um, but yeah, uh, trying to figure out my favorite anime of the year is going to be definitely tough. Uh, right now, like I said, I stopped at getting to 17. All right, we're going to go with this. This looks fine. Uh, I stopped at 17, and I have to narrow it down. But it's like, then, then I have to think, like, did I really love that show when it was airing? Yeah, I did. Did I love that show more than other stuff? Yeah, I certainly did. Well, if I recommended it to people, sure. If I was recommending it to people who don't watch anime, sure. Then it's like, well, am I going to list like, I have another video that I'm coming out. Uh, I don't need to put this on there because I could talk about another thing. And if I want to be fair, the latest episodes of this show aren't necessarily as good as the early episodes, but I binge the whole thing or marathon, I should say. So maybe I don't want to put it in there. Ooh. That, that this show is an original. It's not based on a manga or a video game. I should probably include that because, like, that's nice. But also, I have to realize, like, this isn't my list for Giant Bomb for video games, right? Um, uh, like, which I usually... I put a lot of indie stuff. I put a lot of stuff that people go, I haven't heard of this game before on my list. So, uh... So I was like, well, I don't, nobody's going to be reading my anime 
video, sir, my list of top 10 anime, really, I mean, some people will, but it won't reach, like, the audience, like, for Giant Bomb, it's like, these are the things I really want to showcase and, like, say, like, this is, these are games you should be playing. Yes, I'll put Control in there. Yes, I'll put, like, uh, Judgment, like, games that people have maybe heard, especially if you listen to Giant Bomb podcast, uh, podcasts and you, like, you know, follow along with the activities they're, they're into. You may know what, what these games are. But there are plenty of uh, things that I end up playing that nobody's heard of. So it's like, okay, I kind of want to, you know, give a shout out to some things. So it's like, should I be doing that with my anime list? Should I be like putting in original series or an isekai that because you you don't like isekai, so you're not going to watch, you know, like you're, you're not watching My Next Life as a Villainous All Roots Lead to Doom because you don't watch isekais, but it's fucking really clever it's so clever and so engaging that like you definitely should give that a try because it is such a uh it turns like the genre on its head in such a very strong way uh we are putting pause i practice this i'll say that i practice how to put these on because they are weird we are putting pause on this because dog themed even though we you know it dog themed we're just going in with the dog themes so i'm putting some pause on this uh, sale. But yeah, I've been thinking about that. Like, what if I, uh, what if I just like made my list kind of like, these are the things that I want you to watch. And like, you know, I could add in something popular. Like, honestly, I don't think I would put like My Hero Academia wouldn't make my list this year. Did I really enjoy some of my Hero Academia? Yes, but it was really slow, and I didn't love. I didn't. I, I think it had. It, it ended incredibly, and then the, the weird little extra stuff at the end. It does actually have kind of incomplete season because it has such a strong first part, and the, or, and then the middle is kind of boring, and then it's beautiful at the end, and then it. Then there's just more episodes, and it kind of overstays its welcome, in my opinion, but. Uh, but it's like, you know, people are going to watch that or they're not going to watch that. I don't think I can win people over to checking it out. Like, so, but maybe people like haven't heard of Diary of Our Days of the Breakwater. And maybe me talking about that in a public forum would let people know that like, hey, it's a cool, chill anime about girls like into fishing. Enjoy it. Like, yeah, that, that might that might be a public service that I can provide. I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, we're yeah. So these these uh dog paws we're putting on there these they kind of go on well on the front and the back is kind of weird i don't understand why it's all this sticker but it's also possible i'm messing this up but i don't think i am i think i'm nailing it but i, I want to know for how y'all are doing what's up uh what's going on with you uh anybody playing any video games right now anybody watching anything on the internet or television uh doing stuff go you know Hanging out on a Thursday. What's going on with people? Got plans for the weekend. What's up? What's happening right now? What's cool? What's what's with it? What's going on? Let me know what's up with all y'all. If you want. And if you don't want, you don't have to write anything. And that's okay. But, uh, I have a high-grade model kit coming in the mail that will go in my uh, backlog. I decided to make a purchase of a kit. Uh, it is another um, divers uh, uh, of the you know the build divers uh, series. Uh, I think I believe it's from Rerise, um, and it is nonsensical. It's another one of those ships that has like or model kits that has like extra arms and just seems like a fever dream of a kit. And I was like, well, I gotta build this, so I got it. Uh, it was also on discount on Amazon. It was on sale. So I picked it up. And I was happy about that. Uh, 
Worst fans started up Assassin's Creed Valhalla last night. Just a few hours, but fun so far. I've enjoyed those games over the years. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, um... Uh, and Lord Crash says, I watched that new supermarket sweeps, the sweep that Leslie Jones is hosting, which is pretty good. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Cool. Um, so I don't have, I didn't watch this. I want to talk about this. This was a thing that apparently is happening is, um, there are new episodes of The Price is Right airing because they ran out of episodes, uh, before the pandemic. Uh, so they had to, they, but they've come back, right? And I have I haven't watched it, so I can't verify this. But apparently, their deal right now is that they they have people isolated because they're doing social distancing, and so they don't have an audience full of people watching. So they have like a door or a curtain that people come through, but they act like they're like they're like come on down, and they have to come in and act like like you know they're ex just as excited as they would be if they were like in the crowd so they know ahead of time if they're going to get picked or not and they have to come through a curtain and i think that is hilarious uh, i as i said i have not seen it for myself i was just reading about it and that just is deliciously terrible uh, it's wonderfully terrible um it's like all right all right I, I understand what you're trying to do but come on um uh i people always think this weird it's like I played the I played all of the second Assassin's Creed and some of uh in all of Brotherhood and some of Bloodlines or I f and the, no no I played all of Assassin's Creed 2 and then all of uh, most of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and then some of 3 which I got a free copy of 3 from a friend who literally handed me the disc and said I hate this and handed me a disc which had that on there so I played that um and that was not my jam by in any sense of the word. Uh, and I have not played one since. But I hear good things about the last two. Maybe not playing them back to back uh, because they, you know, like if you because they're long games. But I have heard I've heard pretty good things about all these. So I hope that people are enjoying uh, these many, many things. Uh, all right. So we need six and seven. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. I uh, hope they're what you want in the world of uh, of Assassin's Creed. Uh, I loved Syndicate and Odyssey. Origins was pretty fun. They're huge games. Yes, yeah, I know that you know. I know people you know really enjoyed the last two, and so I hope you're having fun with this one. But yeah, it's just not a thing. Like you know, none of the big big releases this time of year interest me. The smaller stuff certainly does more, but also like, yeah, I mean, when I think about what I'm into this year or this season, it's like the games I wanted to play were Bug Snacks and Like a Dragon. Like, I don't have any interest in Call of Duty. I don't have any interest in uh, Watch Dogs or uh, um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, I have a minimal interest. I mean, I don't have a PS4 or PS5, but I did play some of Spider-Man. So I do have an interest in Miles Morales because I liked Spider-Man of what I played of it. So I wouldn't be opposed to. All right, so we have that done. We're going to put this aside for a little bit as we continue working on our next uh, post here. So we got our next post together. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had uh, some some interest in some of these things that come out, but like, not a lot, honestly. Uh, Rissvin says, I've also been watching Queen's Gambit on Netflix, a limited series about a young woman chess master in the 60s. Yes, I've heard very good things about that. I don't have uh, Netflix right now. Um, I'm going to have to get Netflix next year because uh, Netflix is getting a bunch of anime next year and that I want to watch, including Way of the House Husband. I definitely want to see Way of the House Husband. But there's a few things that are coming out to Netflix that I definitely am interested in uh, on the anime-wise. And, of course, I was interested um, very much in the next season of uh, uh, of our, our women's wrestling, but we don't have women's wrestling anymore. Wow, uh, you know, that's gone. So that's a shame. Uh, Glow is done. Uh they decided instead of... They took back their renewal, which is a shame. Because uh, I would have liked to have seen another season of that show. Uh, was it meandering? Yeah, but it was still good. It was still good. 
Um, 2020 has been all about comfort gaming. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Ristofan. Like, I've bought so few games. I played... The game I played the most this year was uh, Hearthstone. And then below that would be uh, a match three game uh, that is loosely One Piece themed. And then below that is Fallout 4. And then like other... like I. I have played 10 video games this year, but I wouldn't, I don't know if I would feel comfortable doing a top 10 list of like my favorite games of the year. Like, I don't know. So, it, yeah, it's a strange thing. All right, I'm trying to put some stickers on some stuff. Uh, I'm going to give myself, I'm just going to give myself a retweet here. Let's see if we can get a few more folks to come hang out. Uh,. Just give yourself give yourself the old retweet. See if we can drum up drum up some some friends. That'd be fun. Uh, Donut uh, County is one of my favorite comedy games. Love reading the silly item descriptions by Ben Esposito. Yes, Donut County is uh, a lovely game. That is a fun game. Uh, you know, it, it made my top ten. Um, that's a good time. Like, yeah, I would say comfort gaming is totally like. Totally the name of the game or, uh, in 2020. Like, anything you can do to just make this this a little better for yourself. Like, I highly recommend going for it. Whatever you can do to uh, to make the year just a little, uh, little bit better. However you can make that work. So, yeah. Return to old games. Uh, download Cheat Engine. To make ghosts, you know, whatever, to make a PC game work better for you. Uh, I was about to say Ghost of Tsushima. I don't even know if there's a PC port of that, but whatever. Uh, you know what I mean. Fi you know, download Cheat Engine, download uh, whatever you need to, to, to do that, and cheat to your heart's content, make games easy, play on easy mode, um, whatever. Revisit old games and just put, put around. Um, I, uh, as I said, I, uh, Fallout 4, I still, I still, uh, start new saves with lots of mods. I keep an eye on it. I check, I mean, not every day, but every week or two weeks, I check, uh, Nexus to see what mods have come out. And if there's something interesting, I'm like, oh, Ed, I'll start this game in this bunker. I like, this is a bunker here. Uh, that's a fun idea. We'll go over here and I'll do that. And that'll be how I play this version of the game, this playthrough. Or, oh, there's a new companion. Ah, oh, she seems neat. Oh, she's got, like, this house and a bunch of gear. Like, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll start a new fresh game and start with this companion. She's behind Concord. Like, okay, I can get her re really early in the game. That's a cool idea. I'll do that. Like, oh, there's, a new, there's some new mods for settlements. You can turn this thing into a settlement or import this person's blueprint. I'm like, okay, yeah, this seems fun. I'll just play around in that. I paid for it. I'm getting my money's worth. Ooh, I'm getting my money's worth. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of just playing around with stuff because it's whatever, you know, whatever you need to do to, hey, whatever you need to get through it, just like enjoy, go for it. Oh, we got to put two. We got two on that go on here. So I'll need to clip out more. Let's get some stickers on this first and then we'll do two more. Um, but yeah, if you're playing anything, if you're hanging out, with, you know, doing anything, let me know. What's going on with you? What you're working on out there? Uh, I uh, I do want to get it. Like I'm keeping an eye on kits. There were there are some stuff here out uh, this week. Uh, this weekend uh, convention stuff is you know digital convention stuff is happening. So I've been keeping an eye on things, seeing what I might want to pick up. Uh, uh, out of out of the money from uh, from my Patreon and and uh, and Twitch to see about uh, future kits to pick up. So I've been keeping my eyes peeled for a few things that might uh, eventually end up purchased to build. Uh, uh, so Pat, pro tip, definitely look up a guide on how to shareholder meetings when you get 
to the management stuff. Yes, I. Uh, you are not. I Lashbrook very much appreciate that. You are not the only person to recommend that. Uh, to looking up guides for that stuff. The beauty of uh of some of that is that you know there are a lot of guides out there. There's a lot of people putting information out there to to help out. So very much appreciate. But yes, yeah, no, I and also hey y'all guides wikis. I look up stuff all the time. Uh, I have no problem trying to, in a, in a way to understand what's going on. I got no problem there. Um, yeah, I, uh, I definitely hear you and understand. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm looking right now to see about some things to, to build, um, sometime theoretically sometime this month and hey guess what folks we're running out of november uh, uh we are definitely running out of november and uh hopefully sometime uh i'm gonna get shipped my goddamn gohan kit and hopefully it hasn't been pushed even further really hope it hasn't um but i uh have not heard word yet so i'm hoping i get it because i would like to build it uh, the only thing I know about the weird stuff in Yakuza is the weird man baby thing. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff in Yakuza. Um, the thing is, like, they didn't make it less weird. It's just they got a new guy and a new fighting system. But it's still a weird series full of weird, weird people doing weird things. Like, that. only so much of it has changed. Uh, so we need A4. Goes on the bottom two. Oh, wait, no, I did the wrong ones. These are... All right, so we'll put two of these here. This is the top one, and then I need the bigger ones go on the bottom. So I did fuck that up, but I'll fix it. So the top ones are the smaller houses. Different sizes. So fives go on those. Okay. Um, yeah, Bluefin tweeted about a version of that Voltron min, uh, mini plug that does the foam... Uh, Blazing Sword. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It sold out really fast. So, I... Th that's the... um That... So, the thing with... In case they show up on third party, Lashbrook, uh, which they might. So, I did buy that in 2018 because that was when I was at... Um, uh, I had I had the opportunity to go to uh, uh, San Diego Comic-Con. The thing with those is... Um, it was mini gunpla. So all of so basically what, it, what this was for folks that didn't watch this a long time ago, um, the Voltron uh, mini pla are all very tiny and it's all five and they combine into a to Voltron, the big robot. But because of that, all of them were pretty small, and they all came you know packaged individually and they were like meant for you to buy them out of vending machines and like try to buy all find them all throughout the country or whatever they were doing whatever nonsense they were doing. And it was fine. Um, some of the, the the arms, which were the smallest, they're the smallest lions, uh, they were a little like, eh, fine. It all came together, and I enjoyed putting it all together, but it wasn't my favorite kit in the world. Um, also, because it was packaged for San Diego Comic-Con, and they originally were sold separately, it was just, uh, the box was really fucking flimsy. It was one of the worst, like, just cheap, clearly made for this thing or for special events pla uh, box, cardboard box that I was very frustrated with. It was like not up to snuff for their usual quality, uh, which is, I know is a weird thing to be mad about, but I was. It was annoying. Um, uh, so, yeah, and then that sold out. I, I got to keep an eye on Bluefin about what they're putting up and see if there's anything else that like strikes my interest this weekend. Uh, I try to keep an eye on, on what they're up to. Uh, usually, you know, a lot of times they're selling uh, action figures and I don't want, I, I don't want action figures. I want figure rise kits. I want kits that I want to build something like that's what I want. I don't want the, uh, oh, it's, it's the, it's the figure of this classic thing. I'm like, can I build it? No, then I'm not interested. If I can't build it. I don't want it because I can't use it in the streams. Got no, got no time for action figures. I gotta, gotta build stuff. 
Oops, why is this? Oh, that's why. I was putting it on wrong. I was like, why isn't this working? Because I wasn't doing it right. Nope. Alright, that's working. So I'll just put a roof on that. Call it a build. Yeah, that's five. All right. Um. But yeah, uh, I yeah, I don't have as of right now. I don't have like a lot of kits that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to build this. I have a few things that I have my eyes on. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm definitely gonna pick up. Like I'm looking. I'm I'm just keeping an eye on master grades, seeing if any of them come down in price because I love building master grades, like a modern master grade. You wouldn't do it old ones. And I have the RGM uh, that, that is another old kit, kind of like the uh, the last old kit we did. And it's like, I'm not opposed to doing that, but I am interested in, I'm always interested in some, you know, doing some new kits as well. Because, uh, hey, like I said, anytime uh, they make anything that's not a high grade, that piques my interest. If it's a real grade or uh, even, you know, the re-releases, the re-releases they've just been putting out, like they're fine. They're not my favorite, but they're fine. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm getting a little, I get a little itchy to work on a modern master grade that isn't $70. Be nice if they weren't, you know, but those are obviously pricey. They're price, they're price rough. All right. Why won't this go together? get some uh... oops um yeah of course we got a uh, in J in January I've got the Ultron from Endless Waltz coming out Nautico so that'll be a fucking beautiful build working on that Nautico but that is Moons away. We are so far away from that kit being a thing that I'm going to be able to work on. Because, uh, you know, January is, you know, it's not, it's not forever from now, but it's certainly not around the corner. All right. Now we're going to put the other house. These are just, a, these are a hair bigger than that. So we'll build these houses here. Put them together. Same thing. It's, it's a little tedious. I'll admit a little tedious right now, folks putting on lots of stickers we are in the home stretch of doing this so that is nice because i think one of these sales uh yeah i oh, know there's yeah no there's more houses on the other side okay it's the the, the tri sale yeah <laughs> oh yeah we do have we do have more stickers to go it's all right we'll get through it together we're all gonna we're all gonna do it and it's all gonna be great there lots well, of dog paws left too yeah uh i've said this i'm gonna broken record tonight seems like um if you don't like stickers don't get anything from one piece as far as the bandai one piece kits go i mean you can kind of get away with, with some of the chopper stuff like they did want stickers but they weren't that bad but any of the ships you kind of got to just be like in it to win it as far as the ships go and just be okay with that. And I think that's fine. All right. And. Okay. Roof on here, get the sticker on like we want it. Okay. Uh, we are going to end uh, tonight's stream uh, by raiding. Obviously, we got plenty of time left in the stream, but we are going to go and raid. Uh, Desert Bus for Hope is entering the, the last hours of their mega stream. 
They have raised uh, over $700,000 this year for Child's Play, uh, which is fucking rad as hell. Um, and uh, very excited to go in there and then later, probably tomorrow, catch the stuff from the one I like, which is the shift. But it's just going to get wilder and weirder as the shifts start to converge. and They start going through and bringing people on and it will just be wild and fun as they get ready to uh, finish up their lovely stream. They had very cool auctions today. Uh, it was a, a very rare book on magic. Like card, ma like magic magic. Um, and it was uh, a book on the guy that like Penn and Teller like considered their like teacher who and it was Penn Gillette's copy of that book which is apparently very rare and out of print and went for like ten thousand dollars which is just ridiculous uh that was very cool to uh to watch happen it was very neat all right put that aside it's time to put more pause on this Let's see, we need, these are nines to put on there, so these are 10 and 11, so 110 and 111, bigger pause, have to go on, um, but yeah, uh, does anybody build it anything? We talked about wh what's going on with y'all, uh, and of course, we'll take a pause for the cause in a little bit, and I'll talk about ways to export the channel, and then I, of course, I will talk about uh, anime, we're getting ready to talk about this week in anime, but yeah, is anybody building anything? Uh, as always, you can always put stuff on the, uh, um, you can always uh, put things in the Discord uh, if you're working on stuff, work in progresses. But if you're actually uh, like just working on anything and want to talk about it on this stream, you can always just let me know. Or if you're taking a break and you're like, well, I got some time off coming and I plan on building this. You can also let me know that if you're like, oh, well, I got this thing coming up. I can't wait to work on it. I always like hearing uh, about what people are building. So I can also get ideas of things I want to do. All right. Okay. There. And now we got to put another dog paw on here. Oh, nobody's working on anything. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, that is cool. Got a chill chat tonight, and that is okay. That is fine. I am all right with that. No pressure on you. If you're not feeling like chatting this evening, totally okay. But yeah. Uh, I hope that folks that do like to do model kit building find the time to get some building done in this holiday season. I uh, hope you... You find your time to get get some uh, get some building done and get some stuff going, because uh, it's very fun. Uh, I mean, I clearly fucking love the shit. So, yeah, I hope you find some time to do some bu 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 building if that's what you look to do. Um, Got a little Lego set coming up. Building is definitely taking a backseat to new video games for me. Totally understand, Lashbrook. You got the games. You want to play the games. I totally get that. For me, right now, it's like um, uh, I've been. I've got a little Lego set coming up next. I'm excited to work on that. It is the Porsche, uh, and the uh, so that is going to be a Porsche little race car. Uh, it has an advertisement for Forza Motorsport on it, which I just think is just like a funny, weird thing to be like, to hear, you can play this in Forza. It's like, cool? C cool? Sure. I don't know. But yeah, that's coming up next. And like I said, I've got another purchase coming in. I'll probably get one more thing in soon. 
So excited to work to build. All right, so that's together, that's together. Oops, I'm gonna clamp this down. But yeah, I mean, I am, like I said, I'm doing a lot of uh, video games myself, but also I set out six hours a week to build model kits. So it makes uh, model kit building time for me very easy because I dedicate time every week to it. Uh, if I didn't have this stream, it would probably be a little harder to find the time to do that. Uh, and I would probably do one. Other things. Uh, okay. We'll get some pieces set up. We're going to take a pause for the cause in a moment or two, but let me get a couple. Let me get the next uh, post out here so we can get ready to work on that. We are in the home stretch of this kit. We got to finish our sails and then assemble all our sails and then put the uh, anchor on. I'm just going to take the anchor on out now so I remember to do it. And then we will pose it and take some photos and get ready to finish this up. Um, yeah, we'll just get this together. And then we'll do the old pause for the cause. And I'll talk about some anime I've been watching. Hooray. And then also continue to do this. All right, let's go to this look here. Hey, everybody. I'll get through this pretty quick because there's not too many here. And most, if not all of you, are subscribers. So I'll try to make this fairly brief. But I want to talk about some stuff that I'm working on. Uh, and uh, ways you can support the channel if you're not already. If you're currently a subscriber, let's throw the bear cave, the leg of the site, the moat in the chat. Dirty just is here. Hey, Dirty, and threw in the emotes as well. So let's throw the, all those emotes in. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate you very much. If you're not a subscriber, that's okay. But if you'd like to become one, you can use cash money uh, to do that. Or if you have Amazon Prime hooked up to your Twitch account, you can use your Twitch token. You could use it on me. You don't have to, but you could. Um, also, a reminder... Um, Bits and coins always appreciated. You can cheer or you could gift a sub. As I said uh, at the beginning of the stream, we did have a drop because last month there was a bunch of gift subs and they are all, you know, they're coming to an end. So if you would like to gift a sub to somebody in chat that isn't already a subscriber, you could do that. There's a couple people uh, in, in our chat who aren't. Uh, so if you wanted to, to give them a shout out, you could definitely do that. But you don't have to. And you don't have to become a sub. There's other ways to support the channel. And I'm going to go through those. If you're watching this later on YouTube, what's up, YouTube? Checking in with you once again. Uh, you can find all the show, all the description in the show description. You can find a link to everything I'm talking about. That's what I tried to say. Um, I have a Patreon. If if five dollars a month here on Twitch is not up interesting to you, there's a one dollar tier, a three dollar tier, a five dollar tier, and a ten dollar tier available. Uh, I just want to check when when's the end of this. A month coming up. Oh, okay. Yes, I got a little time. I got to do a uh, Q&A video coming up for that. My $1, $3, $5, $10 tier, I get a Q&A video that's only for Patreon. So I got to send a notice out trying to get some questions for that. Um, but yeah, that is another way to support what I do. If you want to do a one-time uh, help uh, and you like don't know anything about kits, you just want to give me a little cash to put into my buying model kits fund, um, uh, Jam is here. Hey, Jam. Uh, throwing any emotes in there. But yeah, here's some links that you can directly benefit me. Because everything I make through Patreon, through direct donations, and through Twitch goes into a fund, and I buy kits with that. I spent money on this. What we're building right now was bought using funds from those various sources. So if you'd like me to, uh, you'd like to help me out there, you can do that. But if you were like, well, Pat, I have an idea. I want you to build something and jump the other stuff you have in there. Jump the queue. I wouldn't say, backlog. You stay as a backlog and build something else instead. Well, you can do that by directly purchasing something. You can go to my Amazon wish list and you can buy something off of there. Let's look at it together, why, why, shall we? Uh, I've got inexpensive Lego, more expensive Lego. Um, I've got uh, high grade uh, Gundams. I've got master grade Gundams. Ooh, that, is that on sale? That is a little bit on sale. The uh, Gustav Carl, uh, which is a big friend. It's a big high grade friend. Big, big things. Uh, big, big cool things on there. Uh, I've got the uh, a bunch of high grades, some master grades, some real grades, all kinds of different things uh, uh, that I would love to build. And if you buy something off my wish list, it shows up here uh, to me. Uh, and I, I make a video where I say thank you, and then it jumps the queue, and I'll build it before I would build anything that I have 
uh, laying around here. Um, so that is a way to support me directly. I'm just going through. Chicken stuff. There's some equipment on the bottom if that's more your speed. Uh, that is a way to support what I do. Uh, alternatively, you could go buy a gift card from USA Gundam Store, and then I will buy from a Florida company, a Florida-based distribution company, uh, USA Gundam. Um, you go there, you buy a gift card, they send you an email with the code, you then DM me on Twitter. There's more steps involved than a normal thing. But that's another way to do it. If you're like, I would like to not use Amazon. That's another way to deal with that. Um, if you're thinking, Pat, I'm going to get you a Christmas gift, and it's going to be a model kit. I would love that. Please do that sooner rather than later because shipping will be a problem this year. Uh, and that's that's advice for your own life. Ship things early. If you're mailing stuff out or if you're buying stuff online, do it earlier than you normally would. Um, we'll get back to building in just a moment or two. I'm going to tell you about uh, the fact that I have a Discord and you can join that Discord. Um, and uh, that's free. And you just join it. I post build photos after every stream. People post stuff they're working on. Uh, we've got somebody in there right now working on some free bay, uh, free hands, uh, free builds of Lego. Working on like a Lego robot that looks very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that that was very neat. Uh, let's see, going through some stuff. Uh, let me put in some videos for you to check out that I have made. And maybe you want to watch those. Build with Bear, Pat Bear, no, yeah, uh, Pat Bear's Anime Club. That's what I want to say, not Build with Bear. I want to say Pat Bear's Anime Club. Uh, I have a video of that of uh, my favorite shows this season. I will have a new video coming out on Monday, so you can go check that out uh, on Monday. But right now, here's the latest, which was uh, kind of my stuff that I'm watching this season. Where I, like, I go through everything going on this season. Um Let's see. I put a new video up yesterday for Pat Bear's uh, Bearing the List. Bearing the List is a series where I rank things using Tier Maker, and I ranked American Thanksgiving foods. Um, so if you think you have, you know, like, you look at that and you want to make your own list, you can do that. You can leave a comment on that video about, like, what I got right and what I got wrong. Let me know uh, where I messed things up, if I messed anything up. And also, uh, today I was on a podcast. Uh, Eric Canis. Uh, who you may know as uh, the video producer for uh, the lovely, wonderful League of Heels Wrestling. Uh, Eric has a new podcast um, with his partner, Robin, and they uh, it's called Do We Like Podcast. And it is them debating things back and forth and deciding if they like or don't like things. And they have a, a guest come on, and we shot we recorded this a while ago, and we talked about, I, I gave them some things to kind of debate and decided who was right um, to like or dislike a thing. It's very fun. They're very nice. Um, I was happy to be on that podcast. So I felt like I should link it for y'all so you can go check out the Do We Like podcast. We are going to get back to building in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to drink a little water. Then I'm going to uh, talk about the anime that I've been watching uh, since uh, Monday's stream. And then I will also continue the build process. Um, but let me get a little water here. And then we'll keep working on this ship. Get there. Move. I'm going to move my mic out of the way. All right. Okay. So we got that. We got that. It's time to build. I'm going to remember to go back to this because sometimes I forget to do that. Okay. So let's get into let's get into the anime as I continue to work on our ship from an anime. Cool. Uh, all right. So we'll put on there. We got to put flags on there. Our last flags, which is great. Very excited about finishing up uh, these. Uh, all right, Black Clover. So I knew going into it that this episode of Black Clover would be not great. Uh, because last week's episode was incredible. It was this fight, this like capture the flag style fight between captains. It was like high energy and uh, really like really stretched their budget. And it was like very fun and very cool. So I knew that uh, this next episode was going to be not that great. <laughs> um, after all, we are still in the... Uh, um, the filler arc where so nothing can really happen, right? Uh, which we we 
figure it out in this episode. Uh, it is the one year anniversary of Noel and Asta joining the Black Bulls. And so it is time for uh, the next test. And so uh, Yami takes uh, the is the Magic Knight entry exam. So Yami takes along uh, Gordon and uh, Asta and Noel because they kind of want to like, I don't know, they want to go check it out. So they go and, and see the site of where they all uh, joined up. Uh, this reminds me of a question I've had. And if you know, because you've read the manga, don't answer it for me. I don't want to know the answer if you know the answer from the manga. But like, hey, who's the vice captain of the Black Bulls? Every, like, we've, every squad has a vice captain. And we've met all of them. We've met, I think, almost all of the vice captains. Pretty sure we've met all of them. Who the fuck is the vice captain of the Black Bulls? Is it Gordon? Because he Gordon was there observing. and Or is it Gotch? I can't imagine he would be. Is it would be really funny if it's like, oh, my vice captain, the guy who barely talks, Gordon. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know who it is. Anyway, um, uh, they do a... a uh, this episode is a lot of flashbacks, folks. It is a ton of flashbacks, and that is a bummer um, because, you know, you want some new stuff. You want them to do new things, but it is mostly flashbacks, and a lot of the flashbacks are of, like, Asta kind of failing and then succeeding and them reminiscing, and it's kind of fun. There's a, a moment where Noelle and her older brother have a chat. Um, there's a lot of flashbacks, as I said. Uh there's a whole thing where the anti-magic birds are chasing Asta because he has no mana. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, and Asta have a little back and forth, which is very fun, which I like because I like those two. Um, and then uh, the Bulls don't end up with any new members. They have zero new members. Because they can't have any new members because this is filler. So the anime would have to create new people to be in the squad. So they just don't. And that's like obvious, but also kind of disappointing. Like they make a thing like, hey, did you find any anybody? And it's like, oh, there was one person who was interesting, but somebody else got him. And it's like, aren't the Black Bulls like the second highest ranking squad? So they don't get to choose anybody cool? Okay, whatever. Um... And then the Bulls have a party because it's the one year anniversary of the, uh, you know, of the, the new members. And that's nice. Uh, you can see all the, there's a nice shot. The end credits is like a still of two different parties. There's like uh, the, uh, the Golden Dawn or whatever, uh, or Aqua Deer. Yeah, Aqua Deer. And then uh, Golden Dawn. Yes, Golden Dawn is the name. Sorry. I couldn't remember the name of it, but there, there's, there's different shots of the different parties at the end, and it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, it was a fine episode. As I said, it was a fine episode of Black Clover. They spent all their money on last week's episode, so I knew that it wouldn't be a lot. It was a lot of flashbacks, and it was fine. Uh, there were a couple moments that were cool. Oh, the one moment I forgot to mention, uh, William... Uh, returns because apparently they got uh, they found Yuno's pendant which had the um, was one of the gems was in it which is to denote some specialness about Yuno because Yuno Yuno and Asta we don't know anything about their parents they were abandoned as orphans uh, so we don't know why they were th at the same time we don't know why they're together we don't know anything about them we don't know what, what their deal is but there's hinted at some story and i don't know if there's if they've gotten into it in the manga or if they plan you know whatever but we don't know we get over the whole like our my parents died when i was little thing by we were abandoned at an orphanage and we don't know which is whatever uh kuma 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 bear uh not a lot of good cool shit happens in this episode either which is kind of a bummer uh this is a, a, a whatever episode of it um Yuna is going to take Noir, uh, who is the who is like the lord of the land that she lives in, 
That's his daughter. Cliff's daughter is Noir. Uh, Noir is going to go to the to the Capitol for the king's birthday and to go see her mother who works in the Capitol. Um, so the parents live apart and one sister lives with one parent and the other sister lives with the other. Uh, so Noir is going to go see her mom and her sister, which is fun. Um, Yuna wants to take Fina along because Fina's never been to the Capitol. And uh, Fina comically bites her tongue during her introdu introduction and everybody notices, but they don't say anything, which is cute. Um, Nora, uh, Noir doesn't, didn't know about Fina and didn't know that Fina is so close with, um, uh, with Yuna. And it comically, in a very funny, cute way, uh, declares her to be uh, her bear rival. Uh, they are rival for bears, a bear rival. Is what she says, which is just, it's cute. She's a fine enough cute character. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're now rivals uh, for bears. Uh, I assume that means the attention of the bears and Yuna's attention as well. Uh, and that's a fine little bit of business. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did want to say, I did not know that, um, that, uh, Cliff's wife lived in the capital and that Noir had a, a older sister. I just assumed that Cliff was a widower because it's an anime. So I just assumed that he didn't, you know, his wife died and he's raising the kid alone. But instead, it's that uh, his he and his wife live apart. Uh, and, but yeah, I mean, it's an anime. So I just assumed, you know, that was the thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, you know, uh, saves the Grand Count named Gran uh, and his go uh, his granddaughter, who is friends with Noir, and they travel together, and there's some back and forth there, but they travel together. Uh, she's also, uh, um, Misa is her name, and she's instantly inter interested in the bears because all young ladies love the cute, cuddly teddy bears that Yuna has, which makes total sense because they're rad, and she should. Uh, so they get to the capital, and Noir wants to learn more about Yuna and her bears. And, of course, she's riding the bear later because everybody wants to ride those bears because those bears rule. Um, and then, uh, oh, yeah, Noir's uh, sister, Saya, shows up. And she is definitely dubious about uh, this girl that is exactly her age being so awesome. Uh, cause Yuna is, o is an overpowered character. So of course she'd be like, Hey, what's your fucking deal? Why are you like this? Which is kind of fun. Um, I will say this. Saya is this show's, uh, so far the only show character in this show who is Sundare. And I would love it if she was, uh, got over it quickly and just accepted that Yuna rules because I thought the show didn't have any Sundare characters and I was psyched about that. Uh, but if there is one, hopefully she's not in that many episodes because she lives in the capital. So that'd be great. Uh, Yuna and Fina go sightseeing, uh, and they eat a lot of foods and they find some foods that are rare because it's the King's birthday. So a lot of people are showing up with, um, uh, things to be like, Hey, uh, a lot of people are traveling or whatever. And so they find potatoes and cheese. So then Yuna makes cheeseburgers and french fries and no one's had that before. And they're like, holy shit, this rules. And then she's like, you know, the thing I can make now that I have cheese is pizza. And they're like, we don't know what pizza is. And she's like, you're going to love it. Um, uh, and then the episode, this episode of, uh, of Kuma 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 Bear ends on a cliffhanger. Dun, dun, dun. There's shot of in the woods. There's a cloaked figure who is, uh, who is grinning evilly, and I assume they are going to try to attack the king or something. And there's a bunch of red eyes, and maybe they're monsters or demons or whatever. Uh, so we just assume that next episode we'll get some action, and Yuna is just going to kick all their asses probably pretty easily because Yuna is really overpowered in this fantasy world that she has been isekai'd into. Um. We imagine she is going to kick all kinds of ass because it's Yuna 
and that's what she do. Uh, that was a fine enough episode. As I said, not a lot happened. There were a lot of cute reactions and some definite comedy. They were definitely going more in the comedy realm for this episode. Uh, and as I said, uh, there's a Sundere character, and I'm not psyched about that. But I do love that um, almost instantly uh, we had another character who's just like, uh, our Noir's mom was also just like, hell yeah, I am into this. What's, I like your bear style. I just love that almost universally every lady's just totally into this bears, these bears very much. Um, and the noblesse. Let, hey, folks, let's talk about noblesse. This episode was weird. This is a, this whole week was just like the weird episodes of shows. Uh, we just had a big conclusion thing where like there was a lot of fighting in the last episode and people kicking some ass and characters getting fucking totally wrecked. Ooh, uh, Jolive just subscribed. Jolive, uh, thank you so much. You said hi. Let's throw the bear cave the leg of the scythe emote in the chat and thank Jolive Vols uh, for uh, subscribing there. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, let's throw some moats in there. Appreciate it. Uh, go on here. Uh, oh, that ended. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for, uh, for doing that. Uh, so noblesse, we just wrapped up a big storyline. We had a lot of shit happening here. Things were things were getting hot and heavy, and they wrapped up. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to have a very goofy episode where nothing important happens. Uh. Kind of. Uh, one important thing happens at the very end. Uh, okay, so what happens here? All right, so um, Teo and Takio, who are the guys who are, they're also um, humans who are modified. They're the other modified humans uh, that helped out the boys. They have been taken in um, by Rai uh, and Frankenstein. And so they are now... Um, uh, working at the school as security, like M21 does. So we got more security guards who are attractive. They are, you know, they've got an attractive president about them because they're modified humans. So they were also somehow coincidentally or on purpose attractive. So college, so high school girls are like, what's up? And um, so this episode is about how uh, um, Yusuke... He's got a crush on Sierra, the noble vampire, uh, who he doesn't know she's, a, or he doesn't, he now knows that she's a vampire, or at least that she's powerful. I can't remember. It doesn't actually matter because, uh, I'll talk about at the end why it doesn't matter if he knows she's a vampire or not. Anyway, he's got a crush on her, but he doesn't know what to do about it. So he goes to the modified humans for help, and the modified humans, like, they don't fucking know. They know a lot about the world, but they don't have a lot of their own memories. Uh, so they're like, I don't, dude, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm not the person to ask about this. Nobody can help. Frankenstein is no help because he his experience with ladies is how annoying it is that they throw themselves at him all the time while he's trying to do his science shit, uh, which, is, which is funny. That, that is very fun. Um... They ask Regis, the other vampire, for advice. And I'll say this. This episode, nothing happens in this episode. But we do get a little backstory between Regis and um, Sierra. Because I was like, are they related? Are they husband and wife? Are they betrothed? What's going on? He says, they're not They're not lovers. They're not in a relationship. They're also not even really friends. They're just associates. And like their paths are tied together. Which was like, okay, so I'm not really sure what that means, but it's good to know. We didn't really know that, so I was like, okay, that's infor that's actual information in this episode. Um, his advice is to write a love letter, which is a terrible advice, because that's not going to work out for this dude. Um, but then they decide uh, that they're going to have a pickup basketball game and make Yusuke look awesome, because he's pretty good at basketball. Of course, he's not a modified human or a noble vampire, but he's pretty good at basketball. So they uh, they want to set up a, a situation where Sierra can see how awesome he is at basketball. Um, it doesn't work. 
uh, because the guys get too competitive. One thing that is very fun in this episode that I think is is really just silly and I really enjoy is that uh, Rye gets into it a little bit because everyone else is kind of getting into it, but he doesn't know the rules of basketball, so he keeps getting fouled out. He keeps dribbling. That's silly, but I appreciate it. It was a little bit of nonsense that I appreciated in this episode. Um, all right, let me get one more of our dog paws on here. We are almost done with this kit. Holy crap. Um, and then, uh, oh, the, the humans get their memories er erased to protect them, so they don't know about all the messed up stuff that happened. Uh, I don't know why uh, they told them they were going to erase their memories instead of just doing it. So it doesn't matter if... Uh, if uh, Yusuke knows that Sierra is a vampire or not, because he won't remember it. So it doesn't really matter if he learned that or not. Um, and then the closing credits thing, there's an, a little tag at the end. A vampire lord is going to send someone to investigate what happened to Regis and Saya, uh, or Sierra, I should say, uh, and why they haven't checked in, because uh, they haven't checked in. Um, and that could be, conf that could lead to conflict. Who knows? Maybe they will, maybe, may, uh, I assume these vampires are not going to like the idea of modified humans. The fact that there are th three modified humans and also Frankenstein, who I still don't, look, his name is Frankenstein. So I assume that he's just like, he was, he was a human 800 something years ago that, unlocked his own hidden potential or something and that's why he's so strong i assume that's what the deal uh because he is seemingly immortal he lived all that time waiting for his master uh to return i don't know as i said this was a goofy episode i don't necessarily love goofy episodes but i understand their need after you have a lot of drama to have something a little lighter uh i, I totally get that um I do think the humans should know what's going on. It makes things less interesting when they just get their memories erased all the time. Uh, it is just less interesting. But uh, whatever. And then uh, Anime Capybara-san. Uh, if you have not been watching Anime Capybara-san, it is definitely a show made for kids uh, about a wildlife preserve where capybaras live and there's one big capybara named capybara san and a bunch of little capybara uh and it, and, it, and one medium-sized capybara and there's a little show about that and there's other animals that live there this episode went to a real zoo the izu uh shaboten zoo uh and they had uh capybara stuffed animals moving around in like stop motion so they would have like a bunch of different little shots of them moving around which was very fucking cute and totally great and they met like a real llama and they met um, re a real capybara. And it was like the real life animals of the anime animals. And it was adorable and unexpected. I did not expect that to be a thing that was happening in this episode. And it fucking ruled. Uh, it's, the sh episodes are incredibly short because as I said, it is definitely like an anime that comes out in between other animes that is for kids. Uh, and I think it is fantastic. I would highly recommend it if you need a little uh, burst of just like good fucking vibes. Uh, that is a great choice for a good vibes anime. Um, and that's all the anime I've watched since uh, Monday. And I will say this, folks. There's a new episode, episode eight, because they restarted the season. It, it was a early show that then because of the coronavirus, because especially because half of the show is live action, um, we have had uh, we have had um, months of no episodes of Gal and Dino. Gal and Dino is theoretically returning because it is uh, it is the time for more episodes of Gal and Dino. Uh, but Funimation doesn't have it on the schedule right now. They put a trailer out last month saying that, like, hey, it's coming back. But they have not put it on their on Funimation's like upcoming anime schedule right as of right now, as of the time of this recording. It does not include any mention at all of Gal and Dino, 
and I am hoping that that is just an oversight uh, and we will get that because it's a wonderful show and I want it to return. It's one of my favorite shows of the year. It will definitely be on my top 10. And so hopefully we'll fucking get it. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be goddamn annoyed if we don't. this up that's always weird all right so now we're just putting i'm just putting my sails on getting the sails together putting all the sails in the places they need to be Could do three in the middle so we'll do three in the middle next um but yeah it is uh i really want to watch gal and dino okay so i put the wrong ones on here all right these are the wrong ones so pop these in yeah, because it's a great show. But I'll, of course, I'll have the other, my other anime to watch uh, that I always do. I'm, I might, I still haven't decided if I'm going to go back to uh, um, uh, Standing on a Million Lives because I haven't watched it. I'm a couple episodes behind. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about catching back up. I might end up catching back up. I haven't decided because I wasn't loving it. Um, but we'll see. See what happens. It's an all right show, but I kind of like that the main character seems like he's not going to grow and change. And that is very, the that is certainly an antithesis, a lot of, uh, shows like that. So I'm like, okay, that could be kind of cool. All right, we're just putting these sails together here. Strings on there. And I need, we're almost done with this kit. And then we will, uh, we've got some time left in the stream. So we'll start uh, knolling our Lego after I take a photo of this. And we'll move on to the Porsche uh, Lego or kit. We'll get that at least ready. This on here, oops. All right. And I'm going to take two photos of this kit. I will take a photo with, uh, uh, you know, on the ship like this. And then I'll take a photo in the water. Do that. And that. And then pop this off. And we can do the, oh, it's, it's, it's we're sailing. All right, and that is our kit. Again, um, if you if you like One Piece, uh, I think the Polar Tang is my favorite. Um, it also, I think, has like the least amount of stickers. Uh, any of the One Piece ships are going to have a ton of stickers. That's what happens with these kits. So if you don't like stickers and applying stickers, these are not the kits for you. I would say go with something else. Um, but I do enjoy these. I think they are fun to put together. Uh, and I think they are, they are cool to have on your desk or on your shelf. So... That is that is a, a thing to take in consideration. So we have finished that, and uh, we've got some time left in the stream. So we are going to get started on knolling because it'll be the next project I do. We can at least knoll this Porsche. This is the Porsche. Uh, was it Porsche 911 uh, Turbo 3.0? So we can at least start getting our pieces together. That there are some stickers. We will not have as many stickers on this as we did on our last kit that we put together. Uh, you may remember had a lot of stickers. Uh, that was uh, the Camaro. That thing was mostly, wasn't mostly, but it was the most decals I've ever done on a Lego set, I think, especially of its size. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty fast build. This is uh, 180 pieces, so this should be pretty quick. So I tomorrow I will be putting out a poll for my $10 patrons about what I should build after this is done. Uh, put up some options for them. Uh, so they can decide what I work on next. Uh, as I said, this uh, I said this earlier in the stream. This was purchased off my Amazon wish list. I do not know who who picked this up, uh, but I appreciate them very much. And uh, we'll we got our racer here. 
so we got to put together our, our race friend our drive friend here and then and then we're just gonna we're gonna spend the, the rest of the stream just kind of nolan getting our stuff together uh getting our parts together here making my life a little easier on uh saturday when i begin to assemble this but yeah i'll be putting out a poll for my patrons about what I should work on next. I've got a, uh, a high grade, a master grade, and a Pokemon kit to put together. So I will wait to see uh, what they would like me to do. Ooh, this person also has hair. We can have a helmet. So we can do a helmet or we can have hair. Let's put the hair on. We'll just have the helmet next to the person. Then of course I'll find the legs at some point soon once we start nulling things together. And if you haven't watched me uh, build any Lego uh, or it's been a while, the process of knowing is that I am just putting like colors together uh, or exact colors together to make my life easier. Because once the colors are together, it is way easier to find things. So I am not just digging through a box or a bag. Uh, it is It really simplifies my life. And then off stream, I will uh, begin to... Uh, um, like do things like this just to make my life easier. like snap these things together so that I can get them fast or whatever, whatever the case may be. But doing something to just make them so they're in piles. I did that a little bit as I was emptying this out. But yeah, just going to put colors together. Make sure that I am separating things here. And then I'll organize it. Usually try to give myself plenty of room when it comes to things, then I'll go through and out. But this, yeah, this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm trying to think about other things that I would want to say to y'all. Um, oh, uh, no bonus stream next week because it is Thanksgiving week. I will be doing my model kit building uh, on Monday as usual. Of course, this Saturday I'm doing again, but Monday next week I'll be building. And then next Wednesday at 9 p.m. I'm doing a model kit building stream. Instead of playing video games on a Thursday or on a Wednesday, I will be doing uh, a model kit building stream. Uh, I have thought perhaps, no guarantees, that Friday um, I might play a video game on Friday because I ha don't have a bonus stream next week because as I said, I will be going from uh, this to, uh, or I'll be doing, uh, my, um, my build stream next Wednesday. So, uh, um, so I might not want to, uh, uh, I might want to do a bonus stream next week. I haven't decided. Uh, Lord Creston says Jan was right about describing Ichiban as a shonen hero compared to Kiryu. Yeah. I mean, like, He's a video, he, he sees himself as a video game protagonist. So the shonen comparisons, I think, work out pretty good. Whereas Kiryu is like, Kiryu is like, is about honor and is about loyalty, but also is like, he's helping people because he's like, oh, I can help people. He's not like, this is my noble quest or whatever. Like, he doesn't think of it as a video game. Whereas we do have that in uh, uh, Ichiban. Um yeah, I, I think the, the idea of having a party um, kind of makes in, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, Ichiban doesn't really have a character. Oh, and like I said, I'm not super into it. I'm hours into it, but I'm not like done with the game or anything. But to me, Ichiban has things going on. It's just that it's his first video game. He hasn't had seven games for you to fall in love with the character and really get the character. He's just going through the motions uh, in his first game. So, like, you know, yeah, of course they don't immediately compare. And he's not as... He doesn't have as rich a backstory as uh, as Kiryu does because he's barely been at, in a video game. Uh, yes, I did hear that on the, uh, on the bomb cast. I'm talking about it. But yeah, um, as I said, I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to do a bonus stream next week. I don't know for sure. Um, if I do, it'll probably be on Friday, and it'll probably be Friday afternoon. 
um, which is a weird time, I know, but I will start it. I'll start announcing it, advertising, I should say, not announcing. I'll start advertising it if that's something I end up doing. But um, yeah, I had quite I haven't quite figured that out. Uh, but I, I'm not going to stream on Thanksgiving. I did make that decision that I didn't want to stream on Thanksgiving. So, uh, so I, if I do a bonus stream, it'll be probably be Friday. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna build on Wednesday, I then don't want to do like a Tuesday stream. So I think Wednesday's the day, or Thursday or Friday's the day to do a bonus if I'm gonna do a bonus. Um, but I haven't I haven't decided yet. But it'll probably be. Pokemon Emerald uh, Randomizer. We'll pick that up. I think that's what I'll end up doing. Like a Friday afternoon. Like, hey, let's play Pokemon. It's Friday. Uh, he's like Kyrio with low stat points. They definitely set up Ichiban to have a lot of Kyrio's par uh, parallels, including spending like 20 years in jail for crime that he committed. Here's the thing. Uh, spending time in jail... Uh, because that's what you're supposed to do to help out your family. And then you come out and find out that people have turned their back on you, even though you didn't do anything and didn't snitch, and you didn't even do the thing that you went to jail for, is that's not just like, oh, that also parallels uh, Kiryu. That's just like shorthand for Yakuza stories. Not just this story, stories about the Yakuza. Like, it is just like, this is an easy shorthand. Like, you go to jail, you come back out because it, it makes you a fish out of water. You don't know everything that's going on. Uh, it means that you get to, uh, we as the audience get to watch you be reintroduced to people or meet new people. Um, and then there's also like a mystery of like, what's going on? Why did this change? What's happening? Why do I need to do all this stuff? So like, it's, it's a classic story uh, telling device that I was not surprised was also going to be in this game uh, as it was in the, in the last one. So, or the last ones, I should say. So I was not surprised that we were also going to be dealing with this, that, that plot line. It totally fits. But yeah, I mean, he's just like, he's his own dude. And we're going to, we're going to see an evolution of this, of this fighting system. Uh, the, the battle system, I think we'll see evolve over time. We'll see if, if this character ends up in more show or more, uh, uh, games. We'll see him grow and change and more things happen and, and all that. Um, I'm excited to see where they take the story because I, uh, I like where it's going. I, I'm excited to continue it. Um, and all the weirdness that is in this game, because there's definitely some weirdness. So I'm here for it. I'm interested in more. All right, so now we're just going to null, like, just going to get things together, get things ready. We'll do that for a little bit, and then we'll we'll get a little building done. Why don't we get a little building done? Get a little bit. We'll just tease it out. We won't even take a photo of what we're doing on Lego, but we'll just get, like, some of this Lego together. And then on my own time, I can go and properly null everything down and, and get everything the way I want it. So that'll be easier for me to find all the pieces. We got our driver. We got the driver's helmet. But yeah, let's get some Lego together, and then we'll uh, we will go and raid at the end. But right now we can just do this. We'll start with our cones, the easiest thing to build, because for some reason this comes with uh, cones, traffic cones. So let's get some traffic cones done, and then it's like step one. Person. Step two. Cones. Step three. Car. So we can get some stuff done with our car. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play more Yakuza. That is a me thing. That is a thing I do on my own time. Uh, I'm going to probably maybe play a little Bug Snacks this weekend, but I'm not. I, I don't know if I'll end up doing that. And of course, I'll go back to Hearthstone which I'll be playing just about every day as I try to uh, figure out, like I said, my next thing with um, with Hearthstone is trying to get a, um, um, sorry, let's look at this here. Um, I'm going to be trying to get uh, a standard deck together because I don't play standard that often, but it's always good to have that because if I'm getting really wiped out on the wild, 
ladder, I can always jump to standard and try that out. So we'll see. As I said, I don't have high hopes on that, but try it out. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that. And then uh, this here. And put that there. Okay. Just building a car. We're just going to make a Lego car. We'll get a little bit in there. We'll get a little bit of this done, and then we'll go and raid. And we're going to raid Desert Bus because it is the finale of Desert Bus. Uh, we'll be going into the late night hour, but we'll go and hang out and see what's going on. And then I'll just enjoy what's what's happening there. Let's see, see my friends doing some stuff. I'm raising even more money. Uh, today they they did a uh, one of the things they raffled off was a custom um, uh, uh, of the um, Hello Kitty uh, uh, Gundam, um, which it was a modified one for like Desert Bus colors, and it was like a reference to a inside joke that happened uh, last year, uh, and it was very cool looking. But it also included like the regular kit, so if you wanted to build it yourself. You could just build it yourself too, which I thought was a, a nice addition. Uh, that was a very cool looking thing. Uh, it was super neat. I retweeted that if you want to go to my Twitter and find that photo. It looked fucking rad. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, here we go. See, this is a problem with I know. I'm like, it's the right color, but where are the two pieces I need? Because I haven't fully nulled this. So I have to just, like, dig through all of the white until I find the right ones I want. So off camera, I'm definitely going to go and null all of this to make my life a lot easier. Because that just works better. But let's, uh, let's see here. If there is blue. Only so much blue. Nice and easy to find those. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to do it here. I'm going to stop on this step here with putting the blue pieces on because that is a good, easy place to know that that is where I left off. And because there's not a whole lot, you know, to this kit, 180 pieces will be a fast build. So uh, there will be a poll out there. As I said, it could be a Pokemon build uh, next. It could be a high grade. It could be a master grade. I'm going to leave it up to my patrons to decide, my $10 patrons to decide. Um, but we are going to go and we are going to go raid uh, uh, the old Desert Bus for Hope. Uh, and we'll go check in the end of that because maybe you want to donate some money uh, to help Child's Play or you just want to watch a cool um, stream. We'll just go and check that out, make sure that that is running, because sometimes they have technical issues, but that is running. So we are going to go give uh, our cool friends a raid and see what's going on with them. And Okay. So we're going to go give them a raid. Feel free to come along. Thank you so much for watching the stream. I'll be back on Saturday. Continuing this Lego build, starting something new as well. Feel free to come along uh, to that stream again on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. And I'll see you in the next stream. Have a great night to you as well. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's go on a raid. Cool, cool, cool.